Hi. This is a sharing on how to do paracentesis and obtain an aqueous sample. First of all, you need to make sure you can work in a very stable environment. The procedure can either be done at a slit lamp with patient in sitting position, or at the surgical microscope with the patient lying flat. I always prefer it to be in lying position as we can trap the patient safely. And patient's head will be more stable in lying position. We start with cleaning the eye with povidone iodine. I always put a drop of the 5% iodine into the eye at the same time. I frequently do it without the plunger as I feel it is more easy to control. One hand will be holding the syringe and one hand will be holding a cotton bud. Direction of the needle has to tangential and the aim is to keep the tip of the needle rest on top of the iris tissue. Avoid directing the needle directly towards the center, as it might hit the lens. Once in position, slowly the left hand will apply some pressure on the other end to passively push the aqueous into the empty syringe. At the same time, you will get the assistant to observe the amount of fluid withdrawn out from the eye. We will be keeping an eye on the tip of the needle. Avoid injuring the iris tissue which may cause bleeding. And make sure the anterior chamber is stable at all time. Once we have aspirated the required amount of aqueous, needle is removed and the wound is observed for any leaking. Leaking is rare with 27 gauge or 30 gauge needle, moreover the corneal wound is made long as in this case. Thank you.